I defeated the Prophet Taker and got back to Fortuna in under two minutes, and this is how you can do it too. First, you'll need this loadout that consists of Bolt, four weapons, an arc gun, a necromech, and an elite crewmate. Bolt can double crits and add electricity damage when shooting through his shield. He also increases his flight and attack speed with his second ability. Infuse Eclipse onto his fourth ability for more damage. These are the mods and arcanes I use. There are three Archon shards that are a must for padless runs, two Azure and one Amber. If you plan to use energy pads and ancient healers, switch Arcane Nullifier for acceleration and the Archon shards to whatever you want. I would recommend ability strength and casting speed. Umbra Vitality is no longer required, so you can switch it for August Secret for more strength or any other mod. The primary is only used to clear pylons and you have three options. But if you're like me and played this game for 700 days without the zenith, then two, the Opticore Vandal or the Kuva Ogress. The Ogress can damage pylons through shields with Nightwatch Napalm. It does, however, have the highest skill ceiling out of the three weapons due to predicting where the pylons are going to land. I have got sub two minutes with both the Zenith and Ogress, and I would recommend these two over the Opticore. But these are the builds that I use. Next, use the Tenant Diplos with 60% Magnetic and this build. For your melee, you want this Balazor with these mods. Exodia Contagion covers all the modded elements as well as Blast, and when it hits certain areas, it can deal Viral damage. But you don't have to worry about that because Viral is also on the Diplos. The last weapon you want is the Synapse. Your elite crewmate will be using this, and yes, you want an elite because of their traits. You want one of these too. If you keep dying, use the healing on kill crewmate, but if you want the highest DPS, use the crit chance crewmate and switch point strike for Viral Acceleration. The only companion you want to use is an Adaza Kavat due to the mod Cat's Eye, which adds a flat 60% crit chance to your weapons for a third of the time. Lastly, your Operator. Use Xeneric as your focus school to regenerate energy, but if you're using energy pads, then either Matarai or Vazarin. Matarai for extra physical damage and ability strength, Vazarin for extra survivability and the ability to instantly revive your Kavat. For Arcanes, I personally use Magus Elevate and Repair to restore health, but you really can use whatever you want. You also need a Necromech. It doesn't matter which one, but mod it for survivability. But what does matter is your arc gun. When shooting through a vault shield, the Corvus can one-shot each leg with this build. There is one main factor for a fast run, a good landing. For speedrunning, your run doesn't start until your minimap changes from the elevator to Orb Valis, but you can place down any gear. At the seven second mark, have your Tenet Diplos equipped, bullet jump, activate your second ability, and spawn your arc wing. Now fly over to the Profit Taker and blink as many times as you can. When you are around 200 to 300 meters away, merely to exit Arc Wing, activate Eclipse, then slam attack in front of the Profit Taker. The ideal spot is slightly offset of the mandible towards the leg, but anywhere between the mandible and the leg I would classify as a good landing. On the screen now are examples of what it should look like for each spawn. Once you have landed, place your necromech and crewmate, then jump and place a vault shield. You want the bottom of the shield to be slightly above the ground so then it is high enough for you to shoot through it with your mech. There are three different phases during the fight, shields, body and pylon. During shields, you want to aim at these spots. Reason being, you can deal viral damage with contagion. Depending on where you land will determine where you aim. There are 13 elements, and when your crewmate targets the Profit Taker, you will cover all 13 with only the Tenet Diplos and Zor. So all you need to do is throw contagion, shoot the Tenet Diplos, then throw contagion again. Repeat this until the shield is down. The body phase is simple and quick. Transfer into your Necromech and shoot the legs. If you're standing 18 to 22 meters away from PT and near the center, you should one-shot the legs with uncharged shots. But if you're too far away or your position is slightly off, you may need to charge each shot 30 to 50% to guarantee the one-shot. Once the legs are destroyed, shoot the body after a few seconds. After the first and third body phase, there will be a pylon phase. The first one will have four pylons, while the second will have six. At the start, you want to track where the first two or three pylons are going to spawn. For Zenith users, make sure it's in semi-auto, and once the pylons land, aim for the center or slightly above the center of the icon and shoot. Be sure to have Vigorous Swap active, so only one pellet is required to destroy it. For Opticore and Ogress users, you will need to equip your Arc Wing and fly straight up. Ogress users can shoot straight away once they know where it's going to land, while Opticore users have to wait for the pylons to land before you can damage them. The Profit Taker always follows the same order. It goes Shields, Body, Pylons, Body, Shields, Body, Pylons, Shields, Body. After that, the Profit Taker is defeated. If you still cannot defeat the Profit Taker in under two minutes, there are a few things that may help. Firstly, do more runs. Some of you might be able to do a two minute run first try, but most of you are just not that good. I didn't get this good after 10 minutes, so get their experience. 
After you've done a fair few runs, start to analyze them. This will show where you can save time. You can do this by either recording your runs or by using the Profit Taker Analyzer tool. The link is in the description. A good reference for your comparisons would be the current Rivenless world record. The link to it is down below. In the description of that video is the timings for their run that was produced from the Profit Taker Analyzer. So you can compare your timings and see where you can save time. Another thing you can do is put lock pins where you should land. On the screen now is where you should place the lock pin at each spawn. This will help to get a good landing consistently. Lastly, join the Profit Taker Community Discord server. They have a 77 page Google Doc explain everything about the Profit Taker and you have the ability to get advice from other runners. And that's how you speedrun the Profit Taker. And as always, thank you for watching.